that what LeBron really represents is if you have a problem, you don't stick around and work it out. You move and mm. you just do something different. You quit <laughs> and move on. You don't quit. You stick it out. You gut it out. That whole mentality is gone. And I think LeBron, I don't think he started it, but I think he's the face of it. That you can quit anytime. That's, that's no problem. Jason Whitlock reacts to Bronny James entering the transfer portal and declaring for the NBA draft. I want you to hear exactly what Whitlock and Steve Kim had to say about this. And then I'll come back with my comments. Bronny James, Steve, has entered the transfer portal He's weighing his options. He might leave USC after just one year, after a freshman campaign that set the world on fire where he averaged four and a half points per game. Uh, Bronny could enter the NBA draft, <coughs> unlikely. He could okay. return to USC, uh, depending on who they hire, uh, and or he could take off. Uh, any of this, in your opinion, a bad look for LeBron James, his father? Yeah, to a certain degree it does. And uh, yeah, the, my reaction to he could enter the NBA draft. Yeah, and I could win an Academy <laughs> Award next year. Okay. All right. Or we could have a, a South Korean sprint champion in the upcoming Olympics in the 100 meters. You could, but it's it's not likely. You know, I don't think it's a great look for LeBron. I don't know if I put all of this on him, but Jason, let's go back to a discussion we had a couple of months ago. He was the guy that made a big show about going to all his games. Okay, so he's the father supporting his son. Fair enough. But there did seem to be some expectations that he put out there, not you or Jason Whitlock or anybody else. He's the one who talked about wanting to, his son to be a teammate in the NBA. That's on him. He's the one who made a little bit of a racket when he got moved out of a mock draft. A mock draft, by the way. And right now, I guess he's on a mock USC roster. So he put unnecessary or extra pressure on his own son. That's not on anyone else but him. So in that sense, yes. But Jason, I've never seen this much of a emphasis on a player that did not even score five points a game. Let's say he no longer is going to be at Heritage Hall in that fine school, the University of Southern California. It's not like they're exactly losing Harold Miner or Dwayne Cooper or Lorenzo or Wayne Carlander. I mean, we're talking about a guy that averaged five points a game, actually less. So what are we really losing here? Here's why I think it's a bad look for LeBron, though, because LeBron's NBA career has been defined by, oh, I got a problem. Let me leave and go someplace else. Mm -hmm. and, and that mindset is now dominating basketball. And so here's his son, one season. At USC, mm -hmm. they stick by him. He has cardiac arrest issues. He gets through the season. I know they just lost their coach, uh, infield. But you know, did they lose their coach? Or did LeBron run him out? Uh, what What is going on here? Does LeBron? There's talk of what I think Musselman, uh, the Ar Arkansas head coach, perhaps being interested in USC and maybe a relationship with LeBron. Is this like a negotiating leverage ploy? by LeBron and Bronny, like, if you don't hire the right coach, I'm out of here, which isn't much of a threat. The guy averaged four and a half points. But I, I do think it, it just burnishes the, the, the idea that what LeBron really represents is if you have a problem, you don't stick around and work it out. You move and mm. you, you just do something different. You quit <laughs> and move on. It... it, it it's like my dad never got more upset with me than when I tried to quit a football team in sixth grade and when I tried to quit the Ball State football team. I'm talking about I rate. It's just like you don't quit. You stick it out. You gut it out. That whole mentality has gone. And I think LeBron, I don't think he started it, but I think he's the face of it. That You can quit any time. That's, that's no problem. Jason, I wonder, if he does decide to transfer, is he going to have a big made-for-TV special and hire Jim Gray, and he's going to, I want to take my talents to Chapel Hill <laughs> or Columbus, Ohio. Um, here's the thing that's interesting. Um, USC is right in the heart of L.A. It's not a picturesque a campus as, let's say, UCLA and Westwood, but still very nice. And if I'm not mistaken, this young man has lived the last several years of his life without the harsh winners. And if you have money in your family, and I would think that they are in the upper 1%, you live a very comfortable, nice lifestyle out here. I mean, today, for instance, Jason, 
It's 75 degrees. It's perfect postcard weather. You get used to this. You get used to the accommodations um, and the scenery, if you know what I mean by scenery, at USC in Southern California. I, I wonder, Jason, is there any chance that maybe Bronny is burnt out on basketball? Someone brought this up to me, that it is a job. You have incredible expectations placed upon you. You're always going to be living in the shadow. And as I said before, you've already made it further than 99% of the people that ever lace on a pair of Chuck Taylors. Maybe there's a part of them that says, you know what, I'm actually good just being a role player, developing, and just going to USC and sticking it out. Does he really want to now go to a school on the East Coast where there's actually real seasons and there's more pressure upon him? That, that's the question that I have. Why is Bronny doing this? Is it strictly for basketball reasons? I think it is for basketball reasons. Not, uh, you know, can't dismiss your speculation here that it's good speculation. But my gut says that he's going to transfer down, that Bronny James wants to be on the court. I'd go to Loyola Marymount. I'd, I'd, there's plenty of uh, what a Pepperdine. I, I'd go to some school in California right there and play and start and get on the court and get the ball in my hands. Look, you look at the NCAA tournament and, and, and see the Kentucky deal and how it doesn't work anymore and that you might as well just go play anywhere. All the games are televised to some degree. And, and so I, I think going to a Duke or Ohio State or North Carolina, I think that would be crazy. Going to a high mid-major, I think that would – I don't think he'd lose any face for doing that. I'd go somewhere where I can be a starter for the next three years and then roll my dice in the NBA. Ah, so do the old Bo Kimball Hank Gathers. Uh, Jason, I have not – uttered the words Loyola Marymount for about 30 years. We are getting also shout out to Jeff, uh, Jeff Fryer and Per Steamer and uh, Terrell Lowry. I still have great memories of that final eight team that got blown out by UNLV in Oakland. But do you think his ego will allow him to do that, though? That Again, you're LeBron James's son. You were given this status as a top 50 player, although people think he's more top 100, which is still really good. But I, I do wonder, given his name, and the brand that they have built up. I think there's a lot of players that could go from a major like P5 conference to mid. It wouldn't be a big deal that he had extra minutes. But I just wonder in this particular situation for Bronny, going from a Pac-10 school, which will now be in one of the major conferences, because remember they're shifting over to the Big Ten, okay, to now going to another school that's kind of, you know, not exactly P5. I don't know if that's good for their brand, if, they, if that's even a possibility, Jason, to be honest with you. I actually think LeBron's keeping it real there that, you know, I've seen dads micromanage their sons into a hot mess. And that to me sounded like LeBron said, well, he tried things my way. He's a grown man. Uh, I'm going to let him make his own decision here. I, I actually believe that there's some truth to that. And, and, and I don't think it would damage him to transfer down a little bit. If Michael Jordan's son can play at Central Florida, uh, LeBron James's son can play at Loyola right. Marymount or Pepperdine Jason, or San Diego State. I don't know. There is a difference, though. Michael Jordan, for as much as he hated Jerry Krause, never said, hey, crumbs, uh, I want my son as a teammate. He's going to be the Black Jack Haley. He just needs to be on the roster. Uh, and th th that's the difference, though. Remember. And this is a question I would like to ask LeBron James or have someone do it. LeBron, do you still have visions or is it still your wish to play NBA basketball and to be on the same roster as your son? I think that's the thing that we are missing here. There's, there's a lot of kids of famous athletes that go to like rather nondescript, I would say non-glamorous blue blood programs. The difference is all they've ever done is like, hey, play ball. You don't need to be my teammate. We don't need to be the getter. We don't have to be Ken Griffey Jr. and Sr. And I, that, that, I think that right there not only puts undue pressure on Braun, but whoever is the next team, and I hope it's not the Lakers next year, we could all wish, but LeBron James, let's say he still has that vision, that hope. Is he really going to tell a general manager, yeah, one of my prerequisites to coming to your franchise is that I want my son on this roster as an active player? And if let's say that took place, and I'm just being hypothetical here, could you imagine the GM and the personnel department in that organization saying, we have to take this kid that did not average five points in P5 basketball? Really? Really? Okay. 
Milwaukee Bucks probably did it with uh, Giannis's brother. As far as Bronny entering the NBA draft and doing the transfer portal, at this point, he may be unhappy with his playing time at USC. I know he had the cardiac arrest situation, so it took him a few games just to get on the court. Didn't really have that full summer to engage with the team, practice, and work on his game. So he's really a year behind. But Bronny James entering the NBA draft, everyone's saying that LeBron James is going to pull some strings, make sure he gets drafted, and on the Lakers. There's no secret that LeBron James wants to play with Bronny James, and he's going to do everything in his power to make sure that happens. But worst case scenario, Bronny James, if he isn't drafted, he's going to sign on the team as a free agent, maybe get some run in the G League, and find his way in and out of the lineup and on and off the court for an NBA team. He's going to be playing in the NBA at some capacity. There's going to be an NBA team that gives Bronny James a chance just by his father being LeBron James and his representation being Clutch Sports and Rich Paul. You know this is going to happen. I know Whitlock was talking about Bronny James is channeling his father's LeBron James quitting mentality, transferring USC. Not sure if it's quitting. When you're in this era of college, you got to transfer at some point. Players want to be able to play. They want the best chance to win a national championship. So players, they got their eye on the prize. And sometimes it takes transferring to the right team to make it happen. There's so much money with NIL deals. Again, winning that national championship, getting playing time. So players are going to transfer. They're going to find ways to be as successful as possible in college basketball. So I'm not sure if he's necessarily quitting. Now, if he just up and left and decided he didn't want to play anymore, you know, that's his decision with him going through all that health situation. But again, in my opinion, this is the era that we're in in college basketball and college sports in general. People are going to transfer. Now, did LeBron James comments hurt Bronny James? That's another topic of discussion. When LeBron was saying that Bronny can help the Lakers, he's better than a lot of people in the NBA. Paraphrasing, not sure exactly what LeBron James said, but that's pretty much the ballpark. He feel as though Bronny at a certain point could have helped the NBA team, could have helped the Lakers. That maybe kind of put the spotlight on Bronny. Anything that LeBron James says, it's going to make major news. It's going to make all the sports takes. So if LeBron James wants Bronny just to be a kid and the media to kind of, you know, and take the spotlight off of him, if LeBron is making those comments, people are going to stay tuned to Bronny and they're going to have a lot to comment on. Fortunately, a lot of people aren't really speaking on Bronny like that. I think just out of respect to LeBron James. So he is getting a lot of grace in the media. But eventually, more and more sports shows, podcasts, anything surrounding sports, they're going to be talking about Bronny James, regardless of if LeBron talks about him or not. So LeBron, you got to be ready for that. And Bronny, he has to be ready for that as well. Jason Whitlock also said that if he were Bronny James, he would go somewhere where he can be a starter. I know a lot of teams are being thrown out there, like the lower level teams to where he can get a lot of playing time, get a lot of run, develop his game on a collegiate level and heighten his chances of being a good NBA pro. And again, by him transferring, I'm not sure if he's going to try to go to those big powerhouse teams like Duke and North Carolina. He may have to go to those lower level teams to where they're not making a national championship. They may get a prime time slot every now and then, but he just needs the ball in his hands. He needs to show his full IQ, full defense. He has to go to a team where he's going to get some run. So he shouldn't be worried about a national championship or money NIL deals. He's in a blessed situation. He has more money than he can imagine just by his father being LeBron. He has his own money as well. He's made his millions off deals and video games and all that stuff. So it's not about the money with Bronny. It's all about the right team and getting that playing time. So I agree with Whitlock that he has to go to a situation to where he can get a lot of playing time and the ball in his hand. But we'll see what happens with Bronny transferring and declaring to go to the NBA draft. He does have an opportunity. If not drafted, he can go back to college. So he'll still have his eligibility. So he could be testing the waters, seeing which teams are interested in and what pick he may go as but again regardless if he returns to school or not if he enters the NBA draft and proceeds with everything and gets drafted LeBron's going to make sure he gets drafted on an NBA team it could be the Lakers but we'll see exactly what happens with Bronny James like subscribe comment do you think Bronny James is ready for the NBA I want to know your thoughts about this like subscribe comment peace